Hey everyone, welcome back to my latest account overview. Today I'll be going over uh, one of my accounts. So this is my free to play account, 100% free to play. Uh, still has the first purchase bonus up here, so has not bought a pack on this account. Again, this account is about 1700 days old. It's getting close to five years at this point. Not quite there, but we're getting up to five years now. So I'll go over everything that I've got on the account. Obviously, uh, it's missing a lot of stuff. It's a free to play account. Doesn't have anything insane on here. I've been running like free to play gear for many years and all that stuff. Um, I am thinking of changing some things up on the account and I'll kind of go over what I'm going to change up on it and what kind of my goals and everything on this account are. So again, like I said, is a free to play account. It has 465 uh, million kills on it, uh, pretty much all from trapping. I don't really have much attacking other than when I first started the account. Again, this, this account started as a normal account. It was a tier three account. I attacked people with it in the new kingdom. And then I decided to switch over to a trap account after that, after I learned what a trap account was. So we'll kind of just go over some of the stats and stuff on here. So uh, I do have 155 million troop might on here. Uh, buildings is 9.2, quests just under a million. Again, I didn't really know about not accepting quests at the beginning. Um, so I do have some quest might on it. Uh, my other baby trap I built has basically zero trap might on or quest might on it. Research is at 60 million. It is a tier four account. I'll go over that as well. Player level, all that stuff is normal. Hero army, six. 0.7 familiars uh 365 i only have one familiar on the account and artifacts are at 434 um so we'll go over all that stuff i'll show you the gear too actually i'll just throw the gear on right now why not uh so this is the uh the uh, free to play trap account or free to play trap gear that i usually use um it's kind of a mix of level 60 stuff and some free to play mythic uh, i can't I actually can upgrade this pretty easily right now, and I'm probably going to do that because I'm going to be switching some jewels out of here and making a construction set with jewels in it just so I can do some construction gear trapping as well and then kind of switch some of the pieces up because I have obviously, or not obviously, I have got some new pieces on here that I can switch out some stuff. I don't really have a choice for my axe because I still only have a purple frost wing and it's, it's so not almost worth taking the jewels out of it and switching over because I get like a couple stats. I am so far away from getting this. It's kind of stupid after almost five years. I still have not got this. Um, again, I have pretty much, I'm, per, I'm closer to getting a gold bumblebee helm than I am uh, to getting a uh, gold frostwing sword, which is kind of silly, but it is what it is with all like the bargain stores and everything over the last couple years. And like, you can get stuff so much easier nowadays than you could before, but for whatever reason, the bargain stores never want to have the, uh, what's called <laughs> this one in here, the, uh, the hearts. So they never have the frostwing hearts in the bargain store. So I never actually get them, but I do get them for the B helm and I do have a, uh, what's called blue helm or blue what's called carapace as well. I'll show you the stats on here just so you can see. Again, I don't have any forts or anything right now. Uh, so that's the non-fort stats. I got 379 infantry, 427 range, and 402 cav. Uh, then you can see the other stats there, 350 army HP and army attack and stuff like that. Um, that's what is currently, and I could obviously change it up and make it a little higher. Uh, the one thing I was actually thinking of doing was actually upgrading my cup because I do have 30... Uh, purple halo so i might actually make two cups so i might make two purple cups instead of making that into a gold cup so uh that's my one thing and then the other thing i can do is actually make a gold uh burning scroll and i do have enough uh, the, the pieces to make a gold burning scroll as well. I was actually keeping the brains. I was thinking of making a skull crusher to change my axe because I didn't really have another choice, but I might have to keep the axe for a little bit longer and uh, just make a, a gold burning scroll instead. So that's kind of the change up there. I also have a uh, storm tacits uh, with the latest bargain store. I was able to get that to purple. So now I have a purple one. I don't think I have anything left. Yeah, I literally just got that. So I like two purples left from that so gold storm tacits are a long ways away uh the other thing was dragon talons that's the other option if you're looking um and i'm still not there yet so i can't make purple dragon talons yet so i'll be using the uh purple storm tacits probably changing out from my uh honeycomb chaps um they are better than the honeycomb chaps if you guys were wondering i will reduce my range attack but it'll also increase my infantry uh so i'll be much closer to 400 mix with uh the uh, storm tacits on there 
and because uh, it'll actually give me some more infantry attack from that. So that's where that is. Um, and then what's the other thing I was going to change out? My offhand is pretty much going to stay the same, unless for whatever reason I can ever get this, but I'll never get the Snow Beast. Because again, this is another one of the pieces that never show up in the bargain store, so I seem to never get it. So I've done a bunch of bargain stores, obviously, since I've this account is really old, and that's why I have so many more halos and bees than I do, like, whatever, these uh, Frostwing Hearts and the, uh, uh, the, what it's called, the Bells, what are they, what are they, keep, what are they called, one second, uh, Snow Beast, yeah, the Snow Beast, uh, the Bells, so, um, those are the things that I'm kind of missing on this account, so, um, decent stats where it is, I got a lot of jewels, again, really old account, uh, you get a lot of guild coins, you spend them on guild chests, or you get ransoms from, uh, like, KVK and stuff, and you ask for a guild, and you get, ask for jewel chests, that's how you get all the jewels for this account, I don't think I'm really close to upgrading anything else, let's go jewel fusion, um, I have a gold gargantuan, a couple gold worms, um, looks like I actually might have this one. No, I'm still one blue away from another gold, so I got a couple extra gold terror jewels in there, which I can throw into my uh, my construction gear probably, and then I'll might take some jewels out and move them around because I don't think I need quite that many stuff in my actual gear, and that's what I'm running. Looks like I got three uh, purple infantry setting there, uh, an extra gold or extra uh, two extra range uh, purples and an extra cav purple, so I can throw those in my construction gear as well. Um, again, I was thinking of throwing my real gear, but uh, since I'm kind of in between right now, I'm mostly just solo trapping on this count. There's no rally trapping, so I don't need as much jewels in my real gear. If I was to throw some in my construction gear, I could have an extra set where I can just take some hits in the construction gear and not have to switch to my main gear. And maybe I can actually upgrade my main gear so that my main gear is a little bit better. Um, so I'll be probably taking a lot of jewels out of all this stuff and moving them around. So that's kind of my plan. And also, everyone seems to know this gear now. So every time I throw on this gear, they're like, oh, it's the Duck Hunter gear. I'm like, oh, great. People are messaging me about it and all that. So that is the issue with this gear is people know it so well that um, it doesn't really work as a good real fake set anymore because since people know what the gear is. Also, I got like 460 million kills. So sometimes that that does give it away. Um, again, I'll show you the comp on the, the account right now. Um, I did get Get black wing not black winged what's the one that uh kills your troops with it with the familiar that kills your troops it's black wing no it's not black wing black wing is the uh, other one um grim reaper grim reaper is the one okay yeah sorry i was trying to think of the name so i got grim reaper that's why my infantry is lower than my other two because uh that killed like 40k uh uh, tier 4, or almost 50k tier 4 from that. Um, so, <laughs> again, I was trapping somebody, and I got their leader, and then they grim reapered me because I got mad. So, <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, I got 711k tier 4 infantry, uh, 767,000 tier 4 range, and 760,000 uh, tier 4 cav, and then about 3 million of each there. So, uh, the uh, tier 2 as a front line. So, it's a full account. Um, again, I have taken a double rally about 10 months ago. Maybe I'll link that in the description down below just so you can check that out. Um, and But the game has changed so much since then. With uh, First off, you didn't have tempering back then. You didn't have artifacts. And I think they change the damage calculation that stats mean more in between there as well uh, so everything has gone so far away from where it was like less than a year ago that it's insane so again uh this account isn't taking any rallies or anything like that it's just used for a solo trap it's a little bit big but um using the kind of baiting techniques i still get hit so um kills are still going up um and again i do have another solo trap as well but it's uh more of a rain trap comp and i think i've gone over that before but um again we'll go over some other stuff i'll show you the artifacts on the account uh so this account is super lucky with artifacts all my other accounts i don't have this many golds right now again i don't spend money so this is just all i get from like daily stuff and the events and stuff like that but i've managed to get seven golds on this account somehow my, my other accounts do not i think i got one account with only two golds so uh, that one is super unlucky and it's got the same amount of uh what's called uh the same amount of these uh things or what are these things called uh, artifact coins as this account pretty much but uh, for whatever reason it just doesn't want to get any gold so it's like all the purples in the world but uh, no gold so this one happens to have a bunch I actually got like three golds on the first day that this artifact stuff came out on this account so it was super lucky um, and again you can see the ones I got to level five um, I wouldn't suggest going past level five just because once you start upgrading it past level five you start needing the purple ones um, and it gets really expensive so up to level five if you're doing it and I do multiples up to level five 
just because it's it's better stat wise it's more efficient that way to do that um once you hit level five and have everything at level five then you can start doing that but i would i would start the golds level five and then maybe do the purples after that and then go back and try and get level uh six or something on there because um the stat increase on here is not that much like uh i guess you get a decent amount of stats you get like one percent for 40 of those things but i'm pretty sure um, you can do it less if you do the purples. Get one one percent is I think less than forty, but I could be wrong. So <laughs> um, maybe I'll look at that for another video to see the efficiency of the uh, artifacts. But um, that's where I am right now. Um, I'll just show you some stuff in the bags. Just what I've got over the last like five years. Uh, obviously, you get a bunch of these things uh, from doing the, uh, the brave heart thing. Uh, that thing there. Um, I also have a bunch of extra VIP points in here just because um, I've been level, what it's called, uh, 15 for quite a while in this account. It is a very old account, so um, VIP comes after many years, and I think I've I think I just got a bunch through guild stuff. I got about 4,700 random re relocators. I don't use those very often because I'm not searching around for targets. I'm usually just sitting around waiting for people to hit me or using another account to bait people to hit me or whatever. And with the uh, the bots now, I don't even have to use them. I just basically just break my shield and they just come and hit me. So I don't have to actually do anything. You see, I've got a bunch of extra like war tomes, crystal pickaxes, steel cuffs, all these things. So um, it looks like I'm pretty much, I mean, I'm level already the... Uh, or already tier four, so um, those things are pretty much useless for me now. Um, I guess I got some extra uh, quest scrolls and uh, or guild or admin and uh, guild uh, quest scrolls. I might have to use some of those because you do get jewels from doing those. So I might actually uh, use a bunch of those to see if I can get some extra jewels from my construction set. I have a bunch of energy to use. Um, I only have level two hunting on this account, so I don't really use energy very much, honestly. It's not really worth monster hunting on this account. Um, since I have such low monster hunting and my monster hunting gear is really bad, I'm super unlucky on that on this account. Um, you can see I only have, I think, like 18 or 19k uh, what's called total energy. So using these 20Ks and 50Ks are pretty much useless because they over cap me. Um, so having like 268 50K energies is useless when my max is like 19,000. So uh, again, don't really use that. Um, let's take a look here. I have a couple of licensed kills and stuff, some archaic tomes. Um, with that much, I can almost do one, uh, what's it called, um, counter research, or at least one of them. Um, I think all three of them, you need like 6,000 or something like that. Um, so I can get close to doing one of them, that's it. Astrolite, I don't have any level 60 that I can actually use that on, so um, it's kind of useless as well, because all my mythic stuff is level 40 uh, or below. Um, just don't have the stuff for mythic. Um, again, like I said, I can make a couple cups probably going to do that so um, that's pretty much it for that oh I do have a uh, speed up uh, collection going here I got 40 what was it 48.2k 10k speed ups I have been lacking on those I I haven't been using my energy every day so um, it hasn't been going up that much but I'm at 48.2k right now um, I'm not sure what the max you can actually have I might hit a cap at one day um, I even have like 6,000 of the uh, 15 minute ones I don't use these ones very often I'm usually more like 24 hours and stuff for your healing or building troops so you don't end up using these ones uh very much so um you can see some of my other ones i got quite a bit of speed ups um and then for research i have even more for like everything because i haven't done research in years the last research i did was when i turned this into a tier four account um so i've been <laughs> saving up these these re these research for years so i got like 14k of those i got 30k or well not 30k 11k 30 minutes 11k 60 minutes i got like 4,000 three hours and not as much of the bigger ones it seems just the smaller ones you get tons of uh so i haven't really used those um you see the other stuff don't really have crazy amount of anything else um apparently i have like 12k of these like hero chests i <laughs> never opened these so um I, i'm starting to get a huge collection of these ones after a while the only ones i seem to open are the purple and legendary ones but uh, i don't think i ever really opened those so those are kind of going there um i do some extra chests in here maybe i'll open those later see if i get anything else but um yeah that's pretty much the account there um it's just a basic trap um those are just some of the stuff i've saved up over a while i have like literally one familiar and that's it um where is my familiar here um you can see that's the uh, drown out only have one familiar slot so there's no point in me really having more than that um i guess i could add an extra familiar in there later um but let's see what i actually have here 
Um, what's my pack five? Yeah, I get those actually from doing the uh, the tycoon. If you're wondering where the pack fives are coming from, um, I think I got quite a bit of these. I got like yeah, I got eleven hundred. Um, what's called the redstones right now, and how many of the uh, gold? I got two thirty-eight of the gold, so I could get an extra familiar up if I needed to, and that would probably be a pack. I guess that's a pack two familiar or a pack three familiar. Again, I don't even have them unlocked. I only have pack one unlocked, so I can't really open those anyways. But um, again, that would be where I'm going for there. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Everything else. Oh, yeah, I guess I should show you research because <laughs> that's, uh, that's, the that's, that's the other thing on here. So military, I just have up to tier four here. Don't have anything past there. I could do probably one of the counters if I wanted to, like I said, with the archaic tomes I have. Um, the fury the fury one is not really useful for me because I don't get a fury on this count since I'm using it as a solo trap um, and then let's see like wonder battles and all these I don't really have much in any of this don't have anything in sigils have a single familiar battle slot uh, gear I don't have anything in there military command I think this is up to breakthrough so if you're looking to build the account uh, that's my uh, research in there army leadership I have a s oh wait this is wedges yeah I unlocked all the wedges so I can actually use wedges Wedges are really nice, especially cab wedge. Cab wedge is very um, recommended if you're uh, defending in cab, just because your infantry is closer than way far back. So I think I've gone over the, the formations in a other video if you guys haven't seen that one. Um, I also have a single quick swap uh, because I don't really need more than that. Like I said, I usually use construction gear in my real gear, so or research gear, I guess you can use that too. So I technically have other quick swaps. Um, I did do some defenses in here when I first started, didn't know any better, but there's really not much research because even this one is like, what is this, like 5,000 research at that point. So I might have an extra like 20k extra research in there that I don't need. Same thing with uh, defense here. I did go a little bit higher than I probably should have. So I have a little bit of extra research, but not really much in here because again, these things are giving me like uh, the 20k at the next one. So there's an extra maybe 100k research in here that's uh, not useful. Con me obviously you have to have full and then monster hunt i have up to i think level two done and a little bit a little bit past i haven't actually gone level three so again unlocked all this when i first started and didn't know any better so if you guys have any questions about the account uh let me know in the comments down below oh actually i know some people are asking me how i got my my name duck hunter gaming it was my original guild um this is just a, a a, a fact here it was my original guild we all kind of changed our names to duck something and my original name was predator so uh, i was like what's, what's a predator i guess a duck hunter so I, I went duck hunter and then when i made my youtube channel i went duck hunter gaming because it was like it was a gaming youtube channel so that's kind of how i got duck hunter gaming it started off as duck hunter then went or yeah so that's kind of the roundabout there i picked duck hunter because everything was kind of duck or goose in our in our guild so i went there and then uh just kind of tacked on gaming at the end when I made the YouTube channel because I was trapping at that time so it was Duck Hunter Gaming so it's a little tidbit on how I got the uh the account name or the uh the YouTube name because people are actually asking me that today so if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys in the next one